think that's fair but in due time that's my new favorite term just in due time um it's a couple of things i need to do today but yeah i've been waiting to water my monstera since i got it right here she is today um i put a piece of zebra jasper in her i believe that's what this is because i was stressed y'all i was stressed and i said we're gonna give you some outside encouragement. Uh, I'm probably gonna put the. I'm, I'm gonna have to put something on my um variegated string of hearts because I'm worried about her too. So, um, I need. To, I came here to repot my my lip surgery. I'm sorry, y'all. I came here to. Oh my god! Why is this thing so hard today? Um, I came here to repot my pothos, but like I said, I've been waiting to water this plant since I got it. Yeah, I need to find a name because she's not just this plant. Y'all, I can't see. Man. Oh. <laughs> That was a little hard. Um, I was listening to Ebony Eyes by Rick James and Smokey Robinson before I got, like, when I was setting up. Y'all, I'm talking about the total vibe, like, the to and it's so crazy because I listened to that song on repeat, like, 30 times yesterday. When I was, um, where was I walking yesterday? Where'd I go? Where'd I go yesterday? Y'all, yeah, I cannot remember where I went yesterday. Oh, the Botanical Gardens. That's where it was. I'm like, I know I went walking and I know I didn't go to the skate park or the Piedmont. So I'm like, where did I go? I went to the Botanical Gardens yesterday. 12 out of 10 every time I go. Shout out to my parents for membership because it's just great. It's every, I mean, I'm a, bro, look at my name. Look at me. Like, that's not even something I knew I needed. Like, shout out to the parent show. Um, but I was listening to that song when I was at the Botanical Gardens. And then I tried to listen to it with some people yesterday. One of the people I know would have vibed out super cool with it. But the other energy, oof, it just wasn't it. It wasn't my kind. And I don't know how picky I am about my energy already. So it was just, I said, we're just going to wait. They couldn't even appreciate this. That song is so amazing. Like Rick freaking James, man. I got to get on some more Rick James. I have to get on some more Rick James. Like, y'all, I don't, my neighbor, I have one neighbor. I always make a noise. I just don't understand. I love you. Hey, y'all, the way they the sound from the lawnmower was really just going with the song that was singing in my head. That's that's cool. <laughs> uh, what else I want to talk about? Okay, so last night we were talking about, of course, 
um the comments we all know what comments um today is August 5th um we know what comments the cancellation comments those comments the comments that got buddy canceled almost um what am I saying oh we was talking about those last night and you know obviously with everybody in a room getting to some money it's like okay we're gonna talk about getting to some money in every situation almost pretty much and basically we came to the conclusion that folks have to realize that that fast money don't last forever that music money don't last forever that weed money them drug money it don't last forever like you have to make sure that you're using your available resources to... I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'll put some subtitles if y'all can. You have to use your available resources to expand on what you have going on. Like, look at Rick Ross. This man ain't put a song out since when? Long time. But you know what? He could do that. Because that music money... That ain't nothing. Like, that ain't nothing. And so, because the thing was, I said, honestly, and I don't know what kind of deal the baby is in. Might be a dang 360 child. Um, I basically said that I would not have apologized if I wasn't sorry, right? And as a 22-year-old, obviously, I could say that because I'm just talking. But at the same time, it's like I took it as a very serious learning opportunity. Like, when you get you some money, do right by it. Like, don't be in a position that you got to do what somebody tell you, you know, in order to feed your family. Like, I said by now, you know, obviously, like I said, I don't know how much money the baby have, but if you're doing all of these concerts or you was going to do all of these concerts um, and shows and stuff, you having a little bit of money, like you should be able to have enough, you know, two, three McDonald's fr franchises or like we know McDonald's is selling. You ain't got to question it. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know if the baby got any more businesses, but it's just like, this some music. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I pray. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. I don't know. I don't know. Just get your money up. <laughs> Moral of the story. Get your money up. Y'all, I'm supposed to be getting ready to go somewhere at 12. It's 10. Oh, bet. It's only 10.45. Yeah. I got to be there at 12. Or I got to at least leave the house at 12. So... But instead, I'm watering my place. I mean, I have at least 30 minutes. Yeah. If it's 45, 11 is 15 minutes. 11.30 is 45 minutes. Yeah. I have time. It's definitely not going to take me 45 minutes to do this. Yeah, I'm also transplant. I'm um, planting, not transplant. I'm putting these. Ooh. Thirsty girl. I'm putting these um pothos cuttings in soil, y'all. I can't take them no more. I can't take it no more, y'all. I can't take it no more. I cannot take looking at them in this nasty glass no more. I'm just tired. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. And then it's just like I have a drawer full of um pots. 
Like, this one's a self-watering. I have a hole at the bottom. Not self-watering. Yeah, self-watering. Whatever. Y'all. Y'all. Is this self-watering? No, you can't pour nothing in there. Um, it have a drainage hole. And I kind of prefer nursery pots, but y'all, the pothos be so darn um, resilient. Oh. Oh. I really don't want to get up. But I need some water. Let me go ahead and get all of it while I'm here. Because <sighs> if I got to get up twice, baby, we're going to end the video. Oh my God, what are you doing? Chopping a cow? I'm telling y'all, like. What the heck? I, st oh, oh. I need to look up some names. Oh, oh y'all, my monstera isn't leaning anymore. So that's great news. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all. Y'all know I be so scared. When I ain't scared of nothing, but when it comes to my plants, baby, I be finna die. Okay. And As soon I said, you know, she was leaning. So it's a girl. She was leaning. And I was scared. So yeah, I staked her up. But then I said, I think she might be too young, like too, too, too young for this. So I unstaked her like an hour later. And I said, I'm going to give you a little bit of time and see what you do. And so, I don't know if I need to... Oh, when my furled leaf. I'm going to show y'all. Unfurled. Okay, are you... How you feeling now? You still not leaking at the bottom? You not even wet at the bottom? But even is you, but is you even really at the bottom? We are gonna go ahead and keep going, cause we don't need no mishaps, and I definitely don't need you. Whatever. I need to buy another gallon of distilled water before this one even go out because it's close enough to the bottom that i'll see y'all when i get done with this <laughs>